Brr. Somebody leave a window open, or is it just me? Oh, wait a minute. It's Captain Cold. Hey, everybody. This is Sea Spray. Today, I'm coming at you with another action figure review. Yes, another DC Universe figure. I'm really into these figures lately, and since these guys were on sale, him and Kid Flash, I thought I'd pick him up and do some reviews. So, right now, with this figure, this will be number three for the DC collection lineup, and I hope to get a bunch more in the new year. So from aside the other ones, this one has a giant warning sticker on the front here, it looks kind of lame, and on the side here as well. This Captain Cold character does come with the head and the, the crotchal region of Adam Smasher. And on the back here we have the same backing as Kid Flash, with the biography and statistics. Alright, so, without further ado, let's get on into the review. So, let's do this. Here we have Captain Cold. This guy's not too bad actually. He looks like a humanoid craze smurf or something. I don't know. He does have the, the style of females today, which is kind of weird. He does have the Lululemon kind of hoodie jogging suit thing going on. And he has the, the, the Ugg boots. Um, he has the yellow belt. It's going really fashionable with his outfit. Very serious. No, I'm just kidding. He looks cool. Uh, I like the coloring a lot. This is my first bad guy DC figure. Uh, he's not too bad. Coloring and detail are really great, especially around the fur on the, the on the hoodie here. And the face sculpt was really nice actually too. Nice teeth uh, definition. Looks really cool. And I like his cool 80s metallic blue mole mound glasses. It looks really awesome. Does have a weird looking ice ray freeze gun thing that looks a lot similar to something I'm not going to say. Um, it's kind of sad too. I do have this taped down actually, if you can notice it, because it doesn't clip onto the peg here and it just holds up in the air. So I do have some tape holding it down just to give it that effect of it being closed. Uh, the pistol does come off. It doesn't really stay too well in its hand. It's really loose actually. And it does fit nicely in here, and again, it does not close. Uh, I think if I dug the hole a little bit deeper, I think it would have been uh, able to fit uh, the peg a little bit more. Um, the character is really nice. has basic DC articulation, same with the Firestorm and Kid Flash. moves everywhere, up here, 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 here. It moves at the shoulders, the bicep, the elbow, the wrists, at the ab region, the waist, all the legs, the thighs, the knees, and the ankles. Very nice figure. I need to get some more bad guys. <clears throat> I do like this icicle effect looking, um, whatever you want to call this thing, this, this neck thing, this upper torso hoodie thing. It's pretty cool. It's kind of a sparkly, kind of darker gray color. It looks really nice actually. I do like the blue. It's up there with one of my personal favorite style of blue. It's kind of like a light blue with a tin. It's kind of like a teal color, actually. Turquoise, maybe. Okay, so this guy does come with a piece of the Atom Smasher limb. And he actually comes with the head of Atom Smasher and the crotchal ass region of Atom Smasher. Okay, so, let's put his gun back in here. This has been Sea Spray's review for DC Universe Captain Cold. I hope you guys enjoyed. We're going to have a Marvel supervillain up next, uh, Spider-Man supervillain. And that's about it, guys. So, this is Sea Spray coming at you. Thanks for watching, guys. Um, hope you enjoyed my review. Uh, I don't have any more DC figures coming up next. I'm going to have to see what I can pick up. If you have any suggestions, just let me know and I'll see what I can do. I do like a lot um, the Batman with the gray and black outfit with, uh, versus Clayface, the Toys R Us exclusive. Who knows, maybe that will be next. Okay, so thanks for watching, guys. Until next time, I'll see you later.